So name three words you think of when you think of a typical homeless person. Uh, like no money, um, no home, and no food. Poor. Jobless. Lonely. Dirty. Like ragged almost. Dirty. Scared. And what are your first three thoughts when a homeless person asks for money on the street? How do you feel? Well, I kind of feel bad for them, but at the same time, I feel like it's sometimes it's their fault that it's the reason they're there. I never really know if they're homeless or if there's someone just sitting there, because people do pretend to be homeless for money. And other times you give them money and they use it for something like drugs or alcohol or something. A lot of the time they probably have some sort of disability or something that they didn't fit in with like I guess the rest of us. Um, well I try to acknowledge them. Sometimes I give them money. Or sometimes I feel sorry for them. It depends. Uh, I guess I feel that I should give them the money. That I, I can't decide. What if I want this money later? That's really selfish to say. I feel like I should give them money, and like sometimes I do, but like I don't always have like a lot of money to give them. Like if they're smoking, you sort of think that they might just spend the money on like cigarettes. So you maybe don't want to give them money as much. And do you know anybody who is homeless personally? Not that I know of. No. No, I don't. I know a couple people that are uh, living in poverty. My uh, mom used to work downtown at hair salon, and there was always this uh, Homeless guy, I'm pretty sure his name was uh, Jim or Joe, someone with a J. My mom became fairly good friends with him. You know, whenever I see him or my mom sees him, we always give him some change or food or whatever we may have. My name is Jason Bobian. My name is Crystal O'Farrell. I'm the executive director at the Kingston Youth Shelter. I'm a counselor at the Kingston Youth Shelter. My name's Amber. Dirty. Like ragged almost. Crazy. Okay, so name three words you think of when you think of a typical homeless person. Dirty. Dirty. So media teaches you that. It's, it's always going to be people that you could visibly see uh, that are homeless. You'd be able to tell by looking at them. And, you know, now that I've been at the shelter for as long as I have uh, and have met so many homeless youth, I, I realize it's not a visible population and you can't tell just by looking at someone who is and is not homeless. So before entering Kingston Youth Shelter, I was studying. So I was reading all about youth homelessness, but it was a completely different thing to enter the shelter and begin to work amongst it. It was definitely a rude awakening to go from reading about it in textbooks and then seeing it um, in reality right in front of your face. Crazy, I guess. These were the same regular kids that I was kind of seeing in some of my college classes. A lot of the same kids who were attending regular high schools. Uh, uh, they really aren't any different than anybody else. Uh, like no money, um, no home, and no food. Lonely. Depressed. Lonely. Being homeless, it's like being part of a family. In the beginning, when I was first homeless, I had no idea what to do. I like walked to downtown Kicks and I was like, oh my god, what do I do? What, where do I go? You know, and I had homeless people that were kind of like, oh, like, we'll help you out. Like, we know what to do. Like, have you ever been to the youth shelter? Or have you been here? Have you, you know, do you go to Martha's Table? And all these different things. And I think a lot of the like older homeless um, population really wanted to help because they were like, oh, this this young girl, she's homeless, and how can we help her? What are your first thoughts when you see a homeless person asking for money on the street? How do you feel? Well, I kind of feel bad for them, but at the same time, I feel like it's sometimes it's their fault that it's the reason they're there. A lot of the time, they probably have some sort of disability or something that they didn't fit in with, like, I guess the rest of us. Media reinforces that a lot of times that homeless youth are homeless because they chose to be, that they have nice places to be, but they've just opted to leave those, uh, to run away from home, uh, or that they could just get a job and everything would be fine. Actual fact, things are, are a little more complex than that, kind of fighting that stereotype daily. 
people who just feel that youth are in this predicament to their own fault and that they can just pull themselves up by their bootstraps and solve their own problem. Uh, and of course it's just not that easy. And I think society puts an idea in our heads of where homeless people come from and how they become homeless. And I think that once I became homeless I realized that there are a million people homeless for a million different reasons. It's not something that only affects certain people. Once I was homeless, I realized that actually these people had jobs and these people have families and these people, you know, they're not that stereotypical low-life kind of person. And if people just kind of stopped and listened to them, they would realize that they're not just terrible, awful human beings. You think of your average 16, 17-year-old who's maybe at attending school full-time. Uh, that's a large chunk of your day. And of course, you can't then get off school and go work full-time. Like if they're smoking, you sort of think that they might just spend the money on like cigarettes. So you maybe don't want to give them money as much. There are, there are so many stereotypes attached to the homelessness population, but specifically with youth homelessness, I, I think that it's the idea that they're all you know, juvenile delinquents attached to that is you know, drugs and crime and all of, all of those things. They're nothing but trouble and kind of the misfits of society who are just up to no good. In some cases they're you know, just a kid just like yourself who have, they maybe just don't have the same privileges or luxuries afforded to them as you, know, you or I growing up. Some of the people that really helped me couldn't help themselves. They were um, like sleeping outside and didn't have things for themselves and maybe maybe didn't have a meal for themselves, but they were always really super helpful to everyone else. It was like, oh, well, you don't have a meal? Well, here, I have a Martha's ticket for you and I'll give it to you. I think they thrived off that. They, like, they thoroughly enjoyed, you know, helping others. They've inspired me greatly, just their resiliency and strength in, um, in the face of hardship it is incredible. Without a doubt, the best part is being able to see the change that you're hoping to assist them to be able to make. I think the homeless people that I've interacted with over the years um, are geniuses. Uh, I think genius is relative and people I've met on the streets know more about life than uh, some doctors do. Some of these people know so, so much about how, um, just like, about how life works, how the world works, how organizations work, like they all bring this um, different sort of knowledge to the table. Being homeless made me so much more empathetic and understanding towards people and their needs.